there are some dirty, sneaky, freaking scammers that are hiding their schemes inside of the comment section of my channel and in other places who are targeting you guys. And I can't believe I actually have to take a Sunday video slot to warn you about this, but a couple of our viewers have actually been scammed that I know of and paid money to some of these scammers. And so I think the time has come that I actually warn you guys, I'm gonna tell you how they're hiding their schemes inside of my channel and they hide them from me so that I can't always see them, what I did about it and what you can do about it in today's video. This is me. This is not me. This is not me. This is not me. And I could go on. This is my book. This is not my book. This is one of my t-shirts. This is not one of my t-shirts. All of these things have popped up impersonating me on YouTube and on other platforms. Besides this, there's also a bunch of like porn and romance scams and crypto scams, and some of them are pretty hysterical. I'm going to show them to you today and exactly what you can do if you want to report them. And let me be really clear right up front, in case somebody just watches the beginning of this video, I am not on Telegram. I am not on WhatsApp. I never, ever will and have never put a message in the comments section of YouTube asking someone to call me. So when you see all of these people, and there are a ton, you guys, it's not me. These are people that steal my picture, start a channel, they'll call it like the official creativity RV or something. So you think it's me and they'll respond to your comments asking you to contact me on Telegram or some other platform. So going forward, just know I don't do that. That is not me. And last year, I was spending hours every week reporting and removing so many scammers that it was taking up a good portion of my time. And like I said, a couple of our viewers were actually scammed out of money. You might remember that about five months ago, I did a giveaway of a small power station that one of the manufacturers had given me to give to somebody. So I thought that was a great idea. Now I don't know if I'll do that again, because as soon as I did that, the scammers popped up and they still are on all my videos, replying to people's comments saying, you won the giveaway, contact us here. Well, a couple of people did that. They were told they won the power box and they just had to pay $160 for shipping. And they did. And that really bothered me because I don't want my viewers to be scammed and I don't want my platform to be like a place where that can happen. Um, but I tried to remove them and it's like whack-a-mole, you know, like literally as soon as I removed one, another one would pop up like five minutes later. And so I made a decision for myself on what to do about it. So I'm going to tell you what you can do about it today. But first, let me show you some of the more hysterical examples. This is my book. This is my last book. It's work from home while you roam, the ultimate guide to jobs that can be done from anywhere. I have this cover professionally designed, and you can see what it looks like here. Um, it's been on YouTube for two or three years now, and you can see it's got over 1,600 reviews, um, and it's 4.7 stars. Well, here's a knockoff. This is not my book. Now, this author didn't take my name, but what she did is she took a screenshot of my cover and put it on her book. And I'll tell you guys how I discovered this one. I never would have known that this was out there, except that a friend of mine died last year and I was editing her memorial video. So I'm already sad, right? And I go into Amazon to try and find some songs for the video in Amazon Music. And I see that book out of the corner of my eye in recommendations and I thought, oh, that's my book. And then I went, that's not my book. So here's, what her cover looks like. And here's what her reviews look like. The book is literally like 25 pages. And I love that she tried to recreate what I did at the top of my book, where it says that the jobs are like remote, seasonal, contract, labor, entrepreneur, all that stuff. 
and bless her little jack wagon heart, she spelled entrepreneur wrong. Here's a t-shirt that I designed and you can see that it was listed for $17 on Amazon and the store was called Creativity RV. Right away, somebody literally copied my design, put it on their t-shirt and named their store Creativity RV and sold the shirt for 13, I think 07. Now let me tell you, I can't even price my t-shirt at 1307. That is the base price for Amazon. So when these people do that, they're not even making a penny. But I think what they're doing is they try and piggyback. People will think it's me. People will buy the shirt. It will go up in rankings. So it gets recommended more and then they'll up the price. There's absolutely nothing I can do about this. Now, of course, there's all kinds of porn that comes up on my videos and I try to remove those. You know, it's usually some girl in a picture in the comments that responds to people and says, um, you're handsome or hit me up. And again, it's like a WhatsApp number or something. And usually the girl's in lingerie in the picture. I try and remove those. You can too. But even funnier than that is that I think there's a bunch of romance scammers trying to scam you guys like this dude. Now, this might be a nice man who's just trying to find some love, but I don't think so, you guys, because he literally sent a message to hundreds and hundreds of women that I could find inside of my channel. So I have to block him. I have to remove him. I have to report him on every video I find him on. So look, if somebody hits you up in the comments on YouTube, just be wary. That's all I'm saying because it could be like a Nigerian romance scam or something like that. Now, these are hysterical and they're well-coordinated too. These are the crypto scams. Now, you're going to see these everywhere. They are all over my videos. I bet they're all over YouTube. I think anybody that has some subscribers or any videos that have some views, these people pop up. Here's what they almost always look like. There's some nice, normal looking person like a John or a Bob or a Sally or a Laura and a nice little picture that's probably stolen from some real person. And they'll say something like, I've made so much money recently that I'm able to retire early. And then the next person will come and it looks like a totally different other normal person. And they'll say, that's great. I'd love to make that much money. And then more people reply and more people reply and more people reply. And all these people are fake, you guys. These are not real people. They do this because most people have their YouTube settings set so that the most popular comments bubble up to the top. These I see a lot because I'll go to my videos and I'll see that there's 45 comments in a string or 20 comments in a string. They always start out that way. But if you scroll down, about halfway down, somebody will say, oh, I too was able to retire early. Thanks to Mr. Harry Mark. <laughs> like this guy, you got to love the names. It's always like Mr. Somebody, Mr. This, Mr. That. And then another person says, I too use Mr. Harry Mark. And somebody else says, that's amazing. I've been wanting to invest my money or get into crypto. How do I get a hold of this Mr. Harry Mark? And then they give you the number usually on Telegram. Now I have to thank a lot of you guys because you have been warning other people in the comments that these are not real. And you've been sending me screenshots on social media and through my blog and on Patreon, letting me know that these people are out there. And I really do appreciate it. But you guys, I know, and it is whack-a-mole. I cannot seem to get rid of them. So let me tell you what I've done and what you can do. What I decided to do was get on Patreon which you guys know that um, I had never done before. And even though it's really common for YouTubers to do Patreon, and like I said in my announcement video, I did it so I can actually talk to my viewers. And it's been really rad, you guys, I have to tell you. We do live meetup view cues where I can actually see my patrons. They can message me directly and I can message them back. So if somebody has a question and they need a response from the real me, I can do that through Patreon. I cannot police all of the scammers by myself on YouTube. Let me tell you what you can do if you see them and you want to report them so we can all make YouTube a nicer place to be. 
A lot of you might know the easy way, and that's how to report somebody right there in comments, like, you know, the poor romance scammer, maybe here. You'll see on the right side of his name, there are three little dots. You hit that dot and you say report, and then a pop-up is going to come up and ask if it's spam, porn, bullying, anything that violates the YouTube terms. And you can also block them so you don't see them. Now, if you want to go one step further, and I'd appreciate it if you did, if you see people that are impersonating me or they're impersonating somebody else, there actually is a way to report that. And YouTube doesn't make it easy. I'm hoping that they will improve this system sometime. But you can click on the little round picture of a person inside of comments, you know, like the one that looks like me, and that will take you over to their page. Now, if you're not sure it's me anyway, take a look at this page because like these people don't have any videos and they've been on YouTube for two weeks usually, right? But if you go over to the right with your mouse and you hover over the little flag to report somebody, you're going to see an option to report them for impersonation. And then they're going to ask if they're impersonating you or they're impersonating somebody else. You can see here, I'm reporting this person for impersonating me. You guys can always do that when you see these people as well. You can just report them to YouTube. You can report them for being an impersonator. And hopefully it helps the problem. I don't know. It might not because like I said, they pop right back up. But just know this, they're not me. I hope you guys have found this helpful. I will be back to our normal fun videos next week i'm working on a couple things i think you're really gonna like don't respond to anybody on telegram or whatsapp if they say that they're me everybody have happy travels out there and be free